Congrats, Coach. You had to be happy with this one. Everybody contributed in so many different ways. What to you was the signature standout about this win? Just very pleased with um, overall effort, and we sustained that effort for 48 minutes pretty much. Um, and like you said, Jen, everybody that checked into the game, everybody that played came in and played with purpose. And just beautiful basketball to watch when we, when we do it together like that. Did Jose know that he was coming up on a double-double? Anybody tell him? I'm not sure if he, if he knew or not, um, but if I had to be a betting man, I would say no. Just because Jose just he just goes out and plays uh, every game to the best of his ability. Now, don't when he comes in here, don't ask, don't ask him that. So, so I don't look bad. <laughs> Took a little time for the defense to start clicking again, but when did you start to see it? You know, get back to the way that you really wanted it to. Was it late first quarter, early second quarter? You know, it's just. It's, of just a part of the game is that you have to make adjustments and they came out right away and hit a few shots. I thought we were solid, but we can't give up, you know, 32 points in the first quarter or 30 point quarters at all. That's the goal. Uh, and then overall with our defense, we're continuing to have to make adjustments as a team with lineups and guys being out and things like that. So sometimes the defense takes a step back. Sometimes the offense, it's just something that we continue to watch on film and then get on the floor and work on. It's good to see our defense come up, come around later in the game. We actually talked about it before this game tonight, but that's another game now where the scoring has really been spread out and, and just something that you guys really need to do to, to supplement Brandon and CJ. Yeah, it's, it's, there's no replacing what Brandon and CJ brings to our team. However, um, our goal is every man be ready to step up and you don't have to do anything spectacular. Just keep the game simple and, and let the offense do it for you. And, and we're all proud of the guys, the way they played, uh, because they did it together. Did that did that look, did that feel like uh, old school, just power basketball from JV tonight? <laughs> it was. He, he really anchored our offense to start um, really the first three quarters. We just threw it into him, and he created so much offense for everybody else, for himself, getting to the free throw line, and then he made the right play over and over again. I know he's glad to have a game like that after a few rusty games, and uh, we're glad he was able to do what he did tonight. Yeah, and uh, 21 for Jackson on eight shots. Just what did you think he did well tonight? Just stayed within himself. He played hard. He rebounded the ball. Uh, he, he was flying around defensively, and the, the ball finds energy. And he, he had great energy tonight. Yeah, just sticking with Jackson, just how unique is he as a big man, just for all the different things he can do on the court? He's extremely unique. Um, his talent level, uh, his ability to be able to guard multiple positions. Um, and then tonight, I thought he did a great job of just being patient, not getting frustrated when the ball didn't find him and just finding his spots. Uh, and, you know, whatever he did on a fast break, I, I mean, that's just hard to do when you're seven feet and, and athletic like he is. It make, he makes it look easy. And how much does that help you guys when you have a big like him who can make plays and transition? It's not just him catching lobs, but him being able to get out and, and make plays before anybody else is down the court. It's very helpful. Um, you know, we can hit, we can give him the ball. He can bring it up. But the important thing for all of our guys is, if you didn't have anything, just keep it simple. Just hit the next guy and, and let them make a play. And I thought our guards did that, even when it was a big, even when it was Jackson or Billy. They just hit him and they played from there. You kind of alluded to Jose's intensity, just the kind of the focus that he plays with, that he's not distracted by anything. Um, with him, we knew that he's a good defensive player from what he did in college, but for him to have six steals, I mean, what are some of the traits that you see that allow him to have a game like that where he's just so disruptive? It's a part of who he is. Um, it's what has gotten him to this point is that he has a defensive mindset and he has a unique talent to be able to, get steals is something everybody doesn't have it. And um, he uses that to the best of his ability. And he goes 110% every time he steps on the floor, whether it's practice, shoot around, player development, and in games. Uh, tonight, it was one display. You know, we, we, we had to play him more minutes um, backing up Devontae, and he played well. One, one more for on Jose, I think. Plus 24 tonight. I know plus minus can be kind of a fickle stat sometimes, but I'm pretty sure he still leads all rookies 
plus minus with where, where he is this year. What about, I mean, I know you kind of answered a little bit there, but how, how impressed are you that he's been able to make that kind of an impact for you guys consistently this year? I'm extremely impressed. Uh, I'm impressed with Jose, just who he is as a person, number one. Uh, he lights up the room. He lights up our gym. All of his teammates in, in our organization, we love him. Uh, and, and it's authentic. That's the beauty in, in having a guy like him. Um, he's honest, he's truthful, he's funny. And um, he just goes freaking hard every time he walks in. And that's the only way he knows how to do it. And, you know, he's another guy that we are extremely blessed to have on this team. Coach, what led you to uh, insert Tyron Wallace into the rotation? And what did you see from his game tonight? You know, he, he's a guy that can get downhill. He understands how to play. Uh, a younger guy that can play um, with the rest of our guys right now. And so, you know, we wanted that's another adjustment that we wanted to make is, is try to get him some minutes, especially with um, just needing a few more ball handlers out there. You know, you lose CJ and Brandon. Now we have to do it by committee with Najee, with Herb, with Jose, with Devontae, and just putting as many guys on the floor who can make plays. And he's, he's a guy that we believe can do it. Christos on Zoom. Hey, coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, playing without two, your two main guys on offense, but you have 130 points tonight. Last night, uh, in the last game against the uh, against the Hornets, you have another big night uh, on offensive end. How, how good this team can be, despite the absences, despite the adversities, how good this team can be from your perspective? You know, sky's the limit. Um, of how good we can be. I think what I'm most proud of is, is the growth in our, in our group. And, um, you know, looking back at the beginning of the season, it was hard for all of us. And, uh, you know, a lot of prayer, um, continuing to trust, trusting God and trusting each other. And it's great to see our young guys be able to step into a game and score a hundred, whatever it is points, because earlier it was a struggle to get to this point, but, um, it's a credit to, to the guys in that locker room. Thank you.